everyone welcome to today's tutorial today we'll be talking about permutation and combination but what exactly is permutation and what is combination what is the difference between permutation and combination well permutation is simply the arrangement of n distinct objects taking r at a time without giving consideration to the order of arrangement. I take it again. Permutation is simply the arrangement of n distinct objects taking r at a time without taking order into consideration. Now, what is the mathematical formula for this? Let us see. Remember, we're talking about permutation. Now, remember in my definition, I said it is the arrangement of n distinct objects taking r at a time. So, our definition or our formula involves two basic elements, n and r. Now, n permutation r is given by n factorial all over n minus r factorial. Now, this is the formula for permutation. But you might wonder, what exactly is n factorial? n factorial is just a mathematical expression that is used to denote n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 down to 1. Let's take a simple example. What is 5 factorial? 5 factorial simply means 5 into 5 minus 1 into 5 minus 2 into 5 minus 3 into 5 minus 4 which is actually 1. This gives us 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This is equals to this is equals to 120. Now that is 5 factorial. Now, what if you're given this question? 5 permutation 2. Remember the formula. Remember that n permutation r is simply n factorial over n minus r factorial. So, 5 permutation 2 gives us 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial, which is 5 factorial over 3 factorial. Now, 5 factorial from the definition of a factorial is simply 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 3 times 2 times 1. So, 2 cancel 2, 3 cancel 3, and we have 5 times 4, which is equal to 20. So, 5 permutation 2 gives us 20. Now, let's take another simple example. 6 permutation 4. Feel free to try this on your own. Then come back to the video. 6 permutation 4. 6 factorial over 6 minus 4 factorial. This gives us 6 factorial over 2 factorial, which is equal to 6 times 5 times 3 times 2, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all over 2 times 1. Now 2 cancels 2, and we are left with 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, and this gives us 360. So, that is the basic idea 
behind permutation notice that you have to know you have to have you need to have a knowledge of factorial because you will use it in solving permutations so it is actually quite easy in our next video we take combination so let's take a look at combination just like i said before combination is simply the selection of n different objects taking r at a time but this time taking the order of arrangement into consideration so what is the difference in the mathematical formula well the mathematical formula for combination is giving us n combination r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial n minus r factorial r factorial n factorial all divided by n minus r factorial r factorial now remember what we mean by factorial n factorial simply means n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 until you get to 1 so 3 factorial simply means 3 times 2 times 1 which gives us now, what if you are asked to look for 8 combination 5? 8 combination 5 simply means using the formula 8 factorial all over 8 minus 5 factorial 5 factorial. This gives, this gives us 8 factorial over 3 factorial, 5 factorial. Now this is equal to 8 times 6, sorry, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 all over 3 times 2 times 1 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we cancel out. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 cancel out 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. And we know that 3 times 2 cancels out 6. So we are left with 8 times 7. Now 8 times 7 gives us 56. Now let's take a, a, another example. This time around, a very simple one to drive home our point. Three combination one. This is simply three factorial all over three minus one factorial one factorial, which is equal to three. This is equal to three factorial over. 2 factorial times 1 factorial. So this simply gives us 3 times 2 times 1 all over 2 times 1. 2 cancels 2 and are left with 3. Now, this gives us a very simple rule that we can work with. Notice that n combination 1 is always n. Yes, so 5 combination 1 will always give you 5. 2 combination 1 will always give you 2, and so on and so forth. n combination 1 is equal to n. So, this is just an introductory video on combination. We'll take some calculations.